Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is James Lockett. This is Leak Town TV News. This is Harrison Park, a very cold Harrison Park, and I have the news contained in my new iPhone 7 that I wish to bring to the Leak Town public. Eight games unbeaten. That's eight. Leak Town, ladies and gents, are on a run. They've turned it around. Was there a lot to turn around? Perhaps not. We were stumbling a little bit. We weren't quite on a flow, probably conceding more goals than we would have liked to have conceded. Anton Donners have chipped away, trying to find the balance, trying to find the correct personnel. I think eight games unbeaten speaks for itself. We like to let the stats do the talking at League Town. They moved up to sixth position in the league on Saturday with a 2-0 victory away to Loughborough Dynamo. No easy matches, a scrubby win I'm told. Leak Town TV, unfortunately we didn't have cameras at that game. We would have done, but Loughborough Dynamo ban the use of filming, filming equipment at their ground following an incident in pre-season apparently, whereby there was trial by video evidence and one of their players was suspended. Poor. After the game, Leak manager Ant Danlick who incidentally missed the game through suspension and recalled club captain Nar Maguire said. However, there were few good individuals. No, I'll start again. I was pleased that we got the three points, although we didn't play well together. There were a few good individual performances with the youngsters, Alex Morris and Jake Dunwoody, impressing. We said before kickoff that this game could be proved to be a banana skin, but we ground out the result with two second half goals to pick up the points. The two positives to come out of the game we're winning the points and some individual performances. The victory keeps the run going and that's eight games unbeaten now. So we go to St. Ives on Saturday looking to continue the momentum, he added. And that's not St. Ives in Cornwall. Leak Town travelled to St. Ives in Cambridge, Cambridgeshire even on Saturday who operate in a league higher than Leak Town. There is a bus, there is a bus that will make the 275 mile round trip which will leave Harrison Park at 9.30am on Saturday morning. Should you wish to reserve a space on this bus, it will cost £12. Let me start again. It will cost £10 for adults and £6 for concessions. And if you are under 16 years of age, it will cost you just £2. Seats are selling fast. I would suggest you get in contact with myself or Tim Lucy pretty quickly if you wish to reserve a space on that bus. Incidentally, St. Ives played Kettering Town on Saturday at home and lost by seven goals to nil. Seven nil. I don't like to be blunt, but that's pathetic. But we must, must be cautious of the backlash. Seven nil though. We've got to go there with hope and optimism. Anyway, Saturday, Leak Town goalkeeper Ben Chapman, he was rested for the he's been rested for the last two games after suffering a calf injury in the home trophy win over Sutton Coldfield. As a helicopter goes over disturbing Blues news. Chris Martin's coming and done well. Competition there for places, Chris and Ben. Who would you pick? Who would you pick? Ben's come in and done well. Although he did make a cock at once up that end. But other than that, he's done well. He saved a penalty against Northwich Victoria. Chris came in, I saw him at Stocksbridge. Good performance. These are the decisions, the difficult decisions that football managers have to make. As a result of such cup fixtures, the Evo stick have had to rearrange some games. We will now play Wit and Albion on Tuesday the 29th of November. If we draw on Saturday, we will play at home to St. Ives a week tomorrow, replacing the staff senior cup fixture, which is originally penciled in against Hensford Town. Either way, Leak Town will be at home a week on Tuesday. Sportsman's evening, Bruce Grobelar, Liverpool legend. He has won everything, everything. European Cups, League Cups, League titles. I would imagine he has some stories to tell. Tickets are selling fast. This will take place on Thursday the 8th of December. A little bit slow there. Thursday the 8th of December in the Blues Bar opposite. Come along. 
He played over 600 times for Liverpool, 25 quid, and this will include a festive themed meal. If you wish to come, email leaktown at hotmail.com or contact Jimmy Lockett at Leaktown TV and I'll sort you some tickets. That promises to be a very, very good evening. And finally, to conclude this week's edition of Blues News, Leak Town Ladies. Leak Town Ladies play on the Sunday, this coming Sunday, against Leicester City Ladies in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. One game away from facing the big guns of the Premier League, the Chelsea's, the Arsenal's and the likes. Leak Town Ladies under Ian Smith have done fantastic and deserve this little bit of publicity. Leak Town TV will be making every effort to be there on Sunday to capture the action. It proves to be a busy, busy weekend. England plays Scotland in a massive, massive game on Friday night at Wembley Stadium. This makes logistics tricky, tricky because I'm going down to Wembley and obviously the Blues are at St Ives on Saturday. St Ives is in Cambridgeshire, not that far from Wembley. You're already down south if you've gone to Wembley. Big decisions need to be made. Can I get away with staying down in London? Will my missus tolerate me staying in London and then going to watch Leak Town the following day? Two massive games this weekend. England v Scotland, St Ives v Leak Town. Leak Town TV, Blues News, Jim Lockett, signing off. Thank you very much.